some things in life are just odd. Like my foot fetish. That's, that's not that odd, man. Nah, the feet that I'm into? Oh my god. Oh my god. Time signatures can also be odd. Not, not that odd. Ah, so today we're going to talk about uh, some great odd time signatures, how you can maybe incorporate them into your own playing, and just kind of how I think about them. Yeah, and where they come from. Yeah. Stuff like Counting, that. Counting, learning how to count. Learning how to count. It's, it's important. Right? Very important. It's not just for babies. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Very true. You want, you want to start us off? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Well, we're going to get into the classic stuff people want to hear, but I'm going to make everyone listen to Radiohead first. Fantastic. Okay. What's the, what, what time signatures is this in? Wow. I think that they should rewind that and try to figure it out themselves before you give them the answer. Sure. By so, the way, probably nobody knows that song. So I'm sure. Go to Sleep. Go to Sleep. And, who, and by Radiohead. By Radiohead off Hail to the Thief. Yep. This is one of those ones that's hard to count. It is. All right? Well, because it, it can either be one of two things, because it, it blends together over mm -hmm. the, the time signature line, the bar line. Mm -hmm. So what sure. do you think? Well, this is actually in 10-4. Right? right. And again... When we say odd, yeah. generally like 10 is not an odd number. Right? Usually odd is just like anything that's not in 4-4. 4-4, four, four, right? four, four, yeah. Or 3-4, yeah, three, three, four, three, four, yeah. Okay, 3 is an odd number. I get people have been giving me... Oh, are you serious? Oh, yeah. Three, three's, and 3 is an odd. It's not no, 4-4 four, four and 3-4 are very, are very common time signatures. 4-4 four, four is known as common time. 3-4 yeah. known as a waltz to us. And those have been around forever. Right. So we're talking about odd mm -hmm. time signatures. I would say 5-4 is the most common. Yeah. That just means every bar gets five counts fits in five, four. One, two, yep. three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Which, ten and five yeah. can be the same thing. Exactly. Depending on how you count it. But something like this is a good example of how it's you really can't count it in five. And we just gave it away. This right. is in ten, four, or right. five, four. Have one. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But try nine, to count seven, it in five one, twice. Two, three, Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, See, the, two, the, the beats don't really line up. The you accent's know what I mean? not yeah, the, the right accent's place. not right. So that's why I, I think this is in 10. Yeah, and, and... For people to say it's in 10. I think it's in 10 as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I'll tell you, like, you know, it's very hard when you're starting off to try and, like, put your ear on where it starts and try to count it and even find, like, where the quarter mm -hmm. note is. Yeah. And this stuff comes with practice. I'm telling you, like, I know I didn't come out of the gates being able to follow time signatures. Sure. Um, but it really gets your mind more into the rhythm section, which is where you want to be as a lead guitar player or songwriter. Mm -hmm. um, and so you really want to think your way through it and relax, and, and, and you can do it. Don't. To internalize the timing, internalize the feel, and not to be caught up on where the accents are. Right. Because you can be playing yeah. in straight four, and the accents are thrown. Well, this is a weird time signature. No. The accents are just kind of within a straight time. Signature. And you think about like Carter Beaufort mm -hmm. from uh, from Dave Matthews. I mean, yeah. there's a guy who's playing in four four, but accenting all these crazy oh, things, so it sure. sounds you mm -hmm. know like way out of four four. Like, What's Man. he doing? He's playing in four. <laughs> like, yeah. What? Yeah. So you have to listen to where those the beats are. It's sometimes mm -hmm. it's really hard. Sure. You know, um, I have I have an entry for this. Uh, what, what do you have? Well, I'm going to discuss the band that I think. Um, you know, they they have the most amount of like radio friendly hits that happen to be in odd times. I think the masters of it, which is Soundgarden. Whew, love and them. One of my favorite Soundgarden songs is "My Wave," and I mean this thing came out when I was in high school, and I remember walking around high school just like <clears throat> banging this rhythm out in my head and enjoying it. And so I'll play a little bit of it, nothing fancy, but you can get an idea for it. But I'll play it a couple times around. Let's see if you can count and see where it is. That's really interesting. I remember hearing it, and, and I mean, it gets a lot more crazier as the song goes on. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, just like you, this is in 5 4. Sure. Right? And so I'll play it, and then Sean's gonna count down and show you. One, two, three, four, five. And so there's another odd song that I think hits the radios um, because it has a nice movement through its melody. Um, it really, it really is a radio-friendly song. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes odd, odd time signatures like uh, when you listen to Genesis or Yes, some of those songs aren't radio-friendly and they have time signatures. So it's right. a good blending of the melody and where it meets the the time. The masters of it. Yeah, and so do, sauce. Do you want to talk that album before we get into the uh, three and four? Do you want to talk about like you know how do we how do they think about these things? Where does this stuff come from? I, I personally think a lot of it comes from the drummer. Yeah, 
right? Uh, Absolutely. Uh, mo- pretty much all the bands we're going to talk about today have phenomenal drummers. Strong drummers. Okay. Yeah. Cameron and Soundgarden, Beast. Yeah. Beast. Selway, Radiohead, Beast. Yeah. I and mean, we don't even have to talk about... We're not even going to do any tool. tool. <laughs> yeah, because right. it's like every tool song it is, is amazing, right? It's yeah. amazing. So, <clears throat> and it really does rely on the drummer. I think mm-hmm. that, like you know, um, from the interviews I read of my favorite musicians, you hear them always talking about how the drummer's practicing in another room. They kind of pick up yeah. on these on these beats and they color them. And if the drummer happens to be playing something in odd time, you know, and you start to hum notes that go with it, there it is. So yeah. focusing on your drummer because a great drummer grooves and he makes a groove. Yes. and he doesn't make it seem like it's a count. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Because it's so internalized. And that's, again, that's why Tool is amazing. Because it's just it's just this tribal yeah. groove that yeah. is happening that a lot of times is compound times. It's changing time sometimes. Yeah. But you never hear a seam. You never you never even, like, notice that you're, you're, yeah. you're you know, um, glitching in your, in your sure. rhythm because uh-huh. it's so seamless. Because it's so smooth. And so I, smooth. I think a lot of that is on the drummer. Yeah. I, I remember when I was first trying to count time signatures, I had a hard time. Something that really helped me out with was Dave Brubeck. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. The, the, the album Time Out uh, yeah. is essentially just all songs in odd time. Oh, right? That's why sense. it's called Time Out. Da-dum-dum. It's kind of revolutionary. First time, right? <laughs> yeah. First time. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a very rudimentary way of thinking because that's in five, right? Three, you take four, five, five, right? Two, three, four, five. But really, when you think about it, it's actually I I I think of that or I thought of that in three and two. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Right? Yeah. And then you know, absolutely. I started incor- trying to incorporate that into my own song. And I think breaking down harder time signatures, odder time signatures, yeah. into something more manageable like a three and a two or a four and yeah. a three or something like that, I think is a great way to count it. Absolutely. And I mean, you are a master of your songs have a lot of time signatures in it. And I think that, you know, because you spend time breaking it down, that it starts to come out organically. You start to... Yeah, I think it. once you're more thoughtful about it and you think about the counting of it, then it, it helps you to kind of seamlessly groove something very true, and at the same time, you don't stress about writing something that's not in four four. I mean, mm-hmm. I used to stress if I wrote a riff, I'm like, well, this is in six. Like, why can't why can't I write it to get to eight? Right. You know, and then you're like, mm-hmm. oh wait, no, it's a cool riff in time signature. So <laughs> let it. You, let it be you want to be able to is. count with your drummer. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's your what's your uh, your third? Oh, we got to go to the masters. Oh, the masters. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Now we gotta talk here. Okay. What what is this? This is craziness. This is hard to count if you don't know what you're looking for. When when we when I first approached this, I was like, mm-hmm. "There's a half measure, Sean." Mm-hmm. You know, and then we had a realization like, "Oh, okay, this makes total sense here." The Ocean by Led Zeppelin. Awesome song. Okay. Yes. Another way, kind of like I would say, a little bit more of an advanced example of what we just talked about with Take Five, right? Back. Combining two time signatures, stacking them. Yeah, and what right. do you call it when you have two even, like, not just time, yeah, two different time signatures? Sure, yeah, I, you know, you follow, you follow it up. You, you can add them together. Yes. But the way I, I think of this is, like, four, four. right? Yep. And then... Seven-eighths. Right? Because <laughs> we're short. We're kind of, like you said, a half measure yeah, sure. short. Yeah. So four over four is the same as eight over eight. Yes. And then if you just go one beat early, which is which you can hear it, because like... da 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 Right? We're arriving early. What is that? So that is, like... Exactly what you're saying, like yeah. a half beat earlier. And so, so four, four. So you know, it starts with one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, right. four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. So here we have a measure mm-hmm. of four, four mm-hmm. next to a measure of seven, eight, mm-hmm. and that bottom did not. The bottom number tells you what beat gets to count, and so we're going from a chord note of one, two. Three, four to eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so, I'm sorry, seven. Yeah. But mm-hmm. but we get the idea like whoa, you're you're going from keeping your mind on the on the quarter and then to the eighth note, and it makes that riff so amazing. Yeah. So yeah, this is kind of counting. And, and and in the same vein, I think talking about the accents is always important. Very right? true. And different bands will have signature accents they like to use. Yes. Like like a real quick example would be like like the Coldplay rhythm. Oh yeah yeah. Right. One two three. One two three. One two one two. You could write any kind of Coldplay song by accenting yeah. two counts of three and one, two, one, two, three. Which really, 
yeah, what's really funny because like, if you look at a time signature, would that be in four four? And, and, and there's yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you were just read it off a, a chart, it's in four. You know what I mean? I was gonna do this. It's not like a bar of three, a bar of three, a bar of two. Uh, how do they keep it straight? It's uh, so funny. No, they're playing in four. You know, one of my students just came to me last week with this song. And it's like one, two, three, one. It's the yeah, slow, it's uh, yeah, the slow sure. down uh, Coldplay, which is in 4-4. Mm -hmm. So you're right, your accents about where you go can give a huge illusion uh, in the wrong direction of your count. Sure. Very true. Maybe it's something you want to explore. Yeah, I mean, and have fun with it. There's no right or wrong when it comes to it. And I feel like if, you, if you're the guitar player at writing stuff, your drummer will appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, yeah. this is cool. I because it, I, I, I found... Uh, I get down on drums a little bit. Yeah. If there's an odd time riff, it's almost it's more fun to groove to it. Yeah. Because it forces you into into a yeah, and you move a pocket kind of. You, you know, you move. And before I get to my last one, I might mention this in one of our live feeds. Um, one of my favorite songs. I think it's a classical song. I might get the name wrong, but I think it's called um, "Scenes from an Exhibition" or "Themes from an Exhibition," and it's in eleven. Eight or eleven four. It's okay. ba da da ba da da ba da 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 ba da. Okay. Awesome. And and you wouldn't even think for a second to an odd time signature until you count it. But that's mm -hmm. a great song. Um, my last riff again. Going to the sound garden. I'm gonna put my uh, clip on tuner on for a second. Solid. Solid, right? Very helpful. Gonna drop D. <laughs> there we go. And here we have another sound garden song. One of my favorites. Uh, Best song written about spoons ever. Ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Spoon Man. Um, the count in this is uh, exceptional. It's in seven. Seven, four? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when you think about it, you have this drummer like one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Actually, no, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But the accents and the movement within it are incredible. Sean's going to count it out. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You got to count me in. Yeah, man. I do. I was, I, was just, I was like, I'm so excited. <laughs> one, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are human first. Mm. Okay, we are human. There we go. Yes. And uh -huh. so you can hear that's a seven four count, and it's just it's amazing. So again, you know that drummer when you listen to him with all the the flams and boom 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 boom, 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 boom it's mm -hmm. hard to even think no. that's odd time. It just sounds tribal. This is the man. Yeah. And so you can have a lot of fun with odd time signatures. Also, pro tip. Pro tip. Yeah. When I was first trying to wrap my head around all this crazy time stuff, and you're playing something in seven, don't count to seven. Count to four and three. Four and three. Because seven yeah. has two syllables. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like when you're trying to count it, saying yeah. seven, yeah. seven throws you out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One, one, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, one. You know, you're, 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 try, you're trying to force the word seven into one syllable. You're right. And it, it always used to screw me up. So that's, that's really something that. That's really funny because like when I count 11, it's six and five. Yeah. yeah, I think uh -huh. that, I, that's so funny. The word seven screws everything yeah. up. Yeah, subdivide. That's, that's, what it, that's what it's all about. Yeah, so don't be mm -hmm. afraid of odd time signatures or odd feet fetishes. Yeah, uh-huh. For sure. My, my favorite is the one with seven toes. Oh, oh God. This. That was <laughs> nasty. <laughs> and some to this guy's channel. Oh, yeah, Stitch Method. <laughs> no odd stuff there. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of odd stuff. <laughs> See you soon. Bye-bye. That was great.